Hi everybody. I'm going to do a quick screencast to show you how to do true, two truths and a lie with a voice thread because it's a little bit different than adding a comment. The trouble will be when I'm logged in, I'm going to have different permissions on this voice thread than you. So I'm not sure our view will exactly be the same, but let's try it. So what you're going to do is go up to the front um, or the top of your voice thread account and you're going to add in your uh, login information. Now, if you've got received my invitation by email, this might prompt you through the process already. So don't worry about if it's a little different, but you're going to get signed in. You'll know you're signed in because you see your account name in the front right uh, the top right hand corner. I can't get my directions right today. And then you're going to click on to my voice because I've invited you. This voice thread should already be in your my voice section. Let's hope so. And I'm looking at it here. It says week six, IICTI spring 2012. So I'm going to click on that. Now this is where normally, it's going to start to play, so I'll stop it. Normally you would want to be using this comment button here and adding a comment, which you'll do for my two truths and a lie. You'll go to my page and you'll watch my video and hear my clues and then you'll click comment and make a comment about what you think is the lie. But to make your own page, you're going to go up to menu at the top here and you're going to edit this voice thread. I've given you permissions to edit. This would not happen with your students. They wouldn't be able to edit this unless you gave them those permissions. And then you're going to click upload and you're going to choose my webcam and that will give you a new page. So let's watch what that looks like. Okay, right away it asks me, can I use your microphone? I'm going to click and my camera, I'm going to click allow. And then it turned on the light on my webcam and there's my, there's my picture. And I could click video here and it would start to record my video. And I could save it or cancel it, you know, listen to it again, multiple tries, that kind of thing. I'm just going to close that for now. Now, if you post one up here and you decide that it's not something you want, you're going to just click on it. So if I was to click on my video here, even though it doesn't appear in this editing box that's black over here, if I click the garbage can, it will delete my video with the upload button. Okay? And then I think it would automatically save. Um, because you won't need to do anything in the share section. There's where I've added all of you guys to my contacts. Um, so don't worry about it. It should auto-save. Okay? Good luck posting your two truths and a lie.